So, let's build a uh, small project in order to show you how easy it is to actually build a project using uh, NC Simul. First of all, we want to run this program through a Haas machine. So, what we're going to do is we're going to set up the machine. First thing you got to do when you're using NC Simul is you want to set up the machine. So here I will get a Haas VF6. So here's the machine. And uh, as you will see, this machine is actually run by a uh, Fanuc uh, controller. We've got the many different types of controller to control that one. We'll take a Fanuc, uh, the default value that we have for that particular machine. So here, step we need to do is to eventually implement or call in that program it's in our program file so we're going to drag and drop the resources that we have in the resource window down to the job window here so we just drag the machine now we're going to drag the program so here's the program we're talking about and as you will see here as soon as I load the program, the software automatically highlights uh, possible errors in, in, the, uh, in the machine setup right now. As you will see here, I've got some different tools that I need to set up in the tool rig here, but they haven't been defined. So what I need to do now is I need to look at this file here where I have to actually um, define myself a tool library where T1 will be a half inch flat end mill. Uh, tool number two is going to be a 3 8 spot drill. Tool number three is going to be number seven drill. And tool number four is going to be a quarter 20 uh, tap. So let's set up the uh, tool library. So what I'll do is uh, I will here um, uh -huh, and set up a new tool library here I will call it demo one for consistency purposes sorry here and the first tool that I have to uh, create here is a half inch so I'm gonna go and get a standard end mill here which is gonna be a half inch So you see here, as, I, as soon as I define the different dimensions of my tool, it's very easy to set this up. Uh, you literally choose the type of tool you want to program, and, and there you go. So the second one is a 3 8 spot drill. So I'll create a new tool here. Go to drills. This one is just to create a 90 degree spot is a three-eighths of an inch so three-eighths and three-eighths and here's my spot drill save this create another one here this is going to be a number number seven drill which is a uh, 0.201 inches so here 0.201 that's it and last but not the least uh, we're gonna put in a uh, tap that's gonna be the last tool to actually perform uh, the last operation in that program here. So I go to my taps here and uh, It's a point two five And the pitch is actually at point zero five
There we go. So my tool library has been created now in the tool crib. If I look at the tool crib, we're here in the resources. Library demo one has been successfully uh, implemented. Now what I have to do is I just need to drag it on my project here. There we go. Now what we have to do is we have to define the actual rough piece of rough we're going to put in there. And what we need uh, to satisfy the requirements of that program is a rough that's going to be 6 inches by 3 inches by 2 inches thick. So I will go to my uh, part or stock and I'll say de demo 1 stock create a new stock here and by default as soon as I declare a new a new uh, new stock here uh, it'll create a, a, a 4 by 4 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 those are, those are the coordinates of the different um, uh, size for the different sides so here I go to more I'll put the 0 on the um, X Y corner, so this will be my zero position here on the top of the part, right here. If you see here now, this is where I've put the zero reference. This is very important to locate that 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 reference because you're going to use that to uh, actually define the G seven the G fifty four when you start your program and you want that zero reference to be used later on. And I'll show you where that's used. So here, this is going to be like a six inch. And I'm going to add in a three inch here. And that's my part. Save. And then I'll go to my rough stocks and my resources and the one that I just created demo rough one is right here that's the one we just did created and I'll drag that rough onto the table now you will see here it's lying somewhere in space inside that machine what I need to do now is I need to set its position so I will move it up a little bit move it in the uh, y direction so right now it's right in the middle of of the space here it's hanging in space now I apply so I've got my tools I've got my rough and I've got my program the only thing I need to do now is to actually set up the um, origin and uh, that defines the zero reference of my program being that upper right corner here so you'll see now one thing that's interesting is I can view this part either from the machine view or I've got these different views here table view or machine view if I go to table view what I see is the actual component and the tools that will revolve around the component or here I will see the machine performing its machining as if it was inside the machine. So let's just go to that view here. That view is a bit simpler. And all there is to do now is to run the program. Let's now start the simulation. So here I have the uh, bar for the speed of to control the speed of the simulation I'll set it up right to here this good gives good results usually and uh, reset the simulation make sure we're starting at the beginning and let's just start it so here you will see that tool coming down every time I see it big yellow line here that's the path that's being created here in 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 the g-code so we're following the g-code here on this side so this is doing the contour 
the actual green path here is the path of a tool uh, that was offset. So that's uh, there's a compensation on that tool when it's highlighted in green. When the path is highlighted in green, it's it's an offset. Let's increase the speed here. So doing my spot drill operation here. And we're going to drill those holes. And now we're going to tap those holes. That's it. Simulation finished. Now, what we would want to do is to, for example, just review that program step by step so we can go back into that program and review every statement every g-code statement review every g-code by just clicking on the, on the up and down arrow in the program here looking at what's happening so you see here i can get my g41 here with that offset i was talking about It goes the other way around too. You know, here I can view, um, I can view the toolpath. So here, if I if I want, I can view the toolpath of the currently loaded tool, or I can view the toolpath of all the tools, or I can view the toolpath if I'm go on the currently loaded tool. When I click on it, if if I click on each of those paths. I'm being brought in the G code wherever that is being executed. So that actual line here is executed. The G1 executed here. If I go back, it will be that radius here. If I go back, it will be that straight line going up to here. So this is how you can navigate. You can also go from tool to tool. So for example, let's say I'm in the navigation window here. I go back to tool number one, but I want to see the toolpath for tool number two. And I want to analyze or look at each step of tool number two. I can do the same. Very useful for, uh, for following the program. 